oh, Hector. Okay. Are you familiar with Hector? Yes, yes. So yes, that's yes. my grandpa. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So okay. That's my, good to know. Yeah, so I kind of am taking over almost like what he used to do. Mm. Okay. But now that I'm in healthcare, I also want to involve that part of this whole oh, okay, part okay. of this. So, so no, we are taking all our people. Okay. Uh, when they need to go to the doctor, yep. we are seeing them. You take you them, take them to the doctor yeah. and we, we pay, pay for it. That will be Sasa. And then we help with school yep. fees, school clothes, yep. anything anybody needs. Okay. Need. We are helping 52 uh, households every month. And do you feel like you guys have seen a difference of whether it's helping with the community? Yeah. Every yes, day? yes, it is. Every day you see, uh, for the schools, with whatever they need. School fees, clothes, stationery, bookcases, books, everything. Everything we are giving it to them. And then we are giving food out two times a week. Uh, we're giving soup or stew and uh, to our people that uh, we know, you, you know, there's quite a few of them that you must go two times a week because that's the only good food they are getting, otherwise it's bread. And it is dry bread. They don't have nothing to put on. Sometimes the kids at the school is a, a feeding system and that's the only food they get for the day. Okay. The no, the meat we're giving out, that is the meat Francois and give, that gives us that packet of meat. Yep. But this is we doing by ourselves. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Francois uh, give us every third month. They are giving us forty thousand wow. to buy the food that we are putting in our parcels. And when you have some meat, mostly venison, you mm -hmm. bring us rice. Wow. They are busy. No, they are helping us a hell of a lot. And the, he is, as you said, very humble. Yes. And but he's doing a great, great, great job. Great job. Yeah, okay. And we are helping everybody. It doesn't matter in which church you are. In here, whatever, Black doesn't white, matter. Uh, doesn't, if, you, your if you're hungry, you are hungry. It doesn't yeah. depend on whatever you are doing outside. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for what pleasure. you do. It was a pleasure to meet you guys. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet very, you. Very, very for us also, you are making a family. <laughs> you make a hug. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. You're so welcome. Thank you, Yom. Thank you. Ready?
we started this morning out and we actually came into this beautiful little valley area. We saw this beautiful group of zebras. Um, the wind was pretty, um, you know, it was coming into our face. It was pretty um, high. And Francois picked out this perfect one, um, you know, in that group. We were able to make sure that he was exactly what we were looking for. There it was perfect. So once he came broadside, we took our shot. It was about 130 yards, I would say, give or take, um, to 30 yard shot. Um, I shot him and he went down immediately. Um, amazing, amazing opportunities. And so we were able to come down and harvest this beautiful zebra. Um, it was once again, a perfect setup. Um, it was absolutely amazing. And I am extremely thankful for everyone that has been able to put in hours and the time to put me on these beautiful animals. That's good. on your hair. Oh, really? Yeah, it showed up like a big white spot almost. <laughs> I said, well, I can see her because it keeps changing the flow. And I said, well, they must be looking at something. Yeah. Did Francois tell you? I'll take pictures. What? what is it? I was talking about... Sure. Zebra. So I think it's going to be a zebra. Yeah, it's going to be a zebra. It's going to be a zebra. It's going Second one from the right. With the big one curl. Down. Yeah. This one lying down. Yeah. Second one from the right. The one right. he's got his head up right now. Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> that was perfect. Huh? I, I like it in it. Whew, that was perfect. Oh, it just worked out. That worked out. He stood up perfect broadside. Whew. Did you see him go down? Yeah. You saw him go down? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh my god, he's beautiful. Holy cow. <sighs> Holy crap. Look at that. Yay! And I only need one shot. <laughs> Somebody else shot, I heard. Literally perfect. Couldn't have asked for a look at that. It's a that beautiful one. one because it's I know, he says it aged. Look at that age. Yeah. Oh my god. What a pretty long shot, eh? I know. Tom's like, can you? Yep. <laughs> pretty. And don't, no, we Francois watched him and he just kind of like, well, the whole group went yeah. and then Francois kind of watched him, came out a little bit and saw him go down and I was like, oh, because I'm like, I know, I said right after I did. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, probably thing. scared his group. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that brindle, like blue coloring. Yeah. That's so pretty. started this afternoon hunt. My dad had spotted this group of wildebeest, my dad and mom. So we stopped, we looked, and they were all kind of laying down. We decided that we were going to kind of see if we could find a big bull in this group. Walked up, um, did some looking through the um, binoculars, and we were able to find one. We were just not in the right angle. He's actually kind of facing away from us, um, laying down. So we decided to walk a little bit further, spot and stalk, kind of went up a, behind a tree to use that for our cover. I used the Ultrac uh, engineered products tripod sticks. It was about a 125 yard shot. Um, they were laying down and he stood up, the one on the right stood up first. He stood up right after that and it was perfect broad shot, broadside shot. I mean, there was nothing more that you could have asked for. It was perfect, textbook perfect, the stalking, spotting him, and then going and taking that beautiful, beautiful shot. He went about 60 yards. Like every hunter, it's always that like, are you sure? Like, is he gonna go down? And he went down and it was perfect and there was nothing more I could have asked for. And he's absolutely beautiful. Um, Francois had said, you know, look at the age on his horns. He's about 10 years old or so, and he's just got so much character and beauty to him. So um, another successful hunt, and I couldn't have done it without Francois and Tiny and everyone here. So I'm very grateful. I'm doing what I want. No, that's your sable. This is literally the one of two things it's, you wanted. Don't worry, it still will be mine on the wall. <laughs> but but you're going to shoot it. Dad. Sweetie. Don't. Yes. No. You can do it, sweetie. Why are you doing that? <laughs> What's this? It's just okay. You know? It'll work out good. But it's going on my wall. Bye oh, bye, Lulu. Yeah. If you back <laughs> so we might only be back tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah. But that's, that's, that's also good. <laughs> like a, a necklace with the young guy in that car. Build a new house and I fall from here but they build a new house on the far one. Okay. Alright. Okay. Right. 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 Oh, no. Yeah. yeah.
Okay, back to the marker. I just saw him for a moment. And he's not going to be in the light. He, he was right through that bush. Yeah. He just took off. It happens. It happens. Otherwise, we call shooting. Right. See him. He saw him for a split second, about 50 yards away, and then lost him. That's a different one. See that one there? That's a different one. Six, seven of them. The ones flaring out like that? Yeah, yeah. Well, early, late in the afternoon, they'll pull it out and open. And while it's windy and cold, they'll stay there. Making us work for it. Okay. So he's making us work for it.
Oh. Great shot, man. Great shot. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh. That was it's a beautiful. He is beautiful. I think that we finally started to move. Yeah. Well thought. done, Jason. <laughs> well, I'm well so done. <laughs> upon this morning we got out of the truck um, getting everything ready to head out um, all of a sudden my dad looks at me and says you're gonna hunt the sable today <laughs> so what made you cho choose that it's uh, father daughter day in Africa <laughs> <laughs> so it was a very emotional I had no idea that this was um, his plan and what was gonna happen so um, it was very emotional for me